Wow. This place is amazing. Jean. Your shoes? Oh, right, sorry. Wait, how is this not automatic for you? Oh, I didn't grow up doing it. Relax, guys. She's just like me. A Korean adoptee with white parents. Oh. Yep, that'll do it. Not another one. Shut it. <laughs> Don't listen to them. I was the same way until I met these jerk-offs, and they made it automatic for me, too. Sorry, guys. I didn't grow up around Asian people, either. I'm from a small town in South Dakota. Well then, allow us to teach you how to Asian. <laughs> uh, can you squeeze it all in in this weekend? Well, if this Twinkie can do it, so can you. Don't listen to them. I just want you to relax and be yourself. Come on, I'll give you the tour. What's up with the... Uh... What do you mean? I mean, he never brings girls he's just started dating to his beach house. This is true. It's not like him. Something's up. So, Wyatt Maxwell Pillsbury III, what's going on over there? I don't know, she's just a girl I'm dating. No shit, but what's she doing up here? Yeah, you never bring new girls here, remember? You didn't want girls dating you for your money? So? So? I don't know, she's different. Wait, different as in she could be a guy? What? No. Then why the fuck would you use air quotes? Yeah, why would you use fucking air quotes? Because she really is different. Okay, your parents need a refund on your private school tuition. What? Forget it, why is she different? Well, for one, she doesn't care about my money. Really? That's a first. And we just connect. She understands what it's like to grow up in middle white America, being the only person in school constantly teased for having slanty eyes or asked if Jackie Chan or Connie Chung are your parents. She had to go through that shit too? They're not even Korean. People don't fucking care. It's fucked up. And as close as we all are, there are just some things you won't understand because you're not an adoptee. Interesting. And now we're getting in touch with our Korean roots, we're taking Korean language courses, searching for our birth families, things I wouldn't do with anybody else. And I just like her, all right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right, I got some work to do. Can you guys go get the barbecue started? By barbecue, do you mean, uh, you, you know. Do you need something? No, I just wanted to steal you away for a little bit. Sorry about all that. Don't worry about it. It's actually cute how close you guys are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they kind of saved me in college. Really? How? Um, I had this uh, identity crisis. Uh, it was actually the first time I realized I wasn't actually white. <laughs> And it kind of fucked with my head. But all of a sudden I wanted to learn everything there was to being Korean. And those guys helped with that. You found yourself. Yeah. It was like I discovered this part of me that I didn't even know existed. Huh. Hey guys, you want some music? What's wrong? Nothing. <laughs> Come on. I know when someone says nothing, they actually mean something's wrong. <laughs> um, you don't use air quotes correctly. <laughs> it's just that... Everything you said about realizing that you're not white is exactly what I went through when I was in college. But I also never felt like I was Asian either. I totally get that. It's actually the big reason why I moved to New York City. I wanted to be around different kinds of people. So maybe I could find something like what you have with your friends. Glad you did. <laughs> You're lucky you found them. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm also lucky I found you.
Hey guys! Max, we're coming in! What? What the fuck? Oh, oh thank god you're not naked. Come here! You gotta come with us right now. What? Sorry, we'll bring him right back. What the fuck are you? Max, what happened? Max? What are you looking at? Hey, uh, you, you didn't, you guys didn't, uh, you know. Mind if I sit? So I was thinking... You know what's really fucked up? I was fine, not knowing who my blood relatives were, or if I even had any. And then I met you, and you put all these ideas in my head about finding my real family. FYI, I have a real fucking family. They're the Pringles from Mitchell, South Dakota. They gave me a loving home, a life, when my birth parents ditched me. I guess you could say our birth parents ditched us? What? Well, apparently they're our birth parents. Ugh, don't remind me. Well, how do you think this is for me? I mean, with you looking like you do, God, this is gonna suck. What is? Having you as my sister. You still want me in your life? Of course. We're family. Yeah, well, a lot of families don't talk to each other. True, but... I'm willing to give it a shot if you are. Listen, my parents are going to come into the city in a couple weeks. I think you should meet them. Oh, I don't know about that. Come on. You gotta start somewhere. And I know my parents would be thrilled to meet their newfound daughter. <laughs> you still don't know how to use air quotes. Damn it. Okay. Okay? What? Okay, fine. Let's try this whole brother-sister thing out. Really? Yeah. 
I mean, maybe you and those idiots can help me find myself. <laughs> Come on. I think those idiots have dinner ready. <laughs> oh, I get it. You use air quotes when you don't mean the literal meaning of what you're saying, right? Like, those guys aren't idiots. They're my friends. <laughs> I'm so glad we didn't fuck. <laughs> Go together.